Hey everyone, what's up? Yash this side from SEO Unleashed with Yash. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create and also implement schema for your local business website and not just in your business, rather your clients' businesses. So just to note that in case you're looking to delegate this schema stuff, you can just book a call with me using the link given in the description and pinned comment. And also in case you're looking for any SEO guy that could handle all this stuff, feel free to book a call with me. Now let's get into the video. First of all, what is schema markup? Schema markup, also known as structured structure data, is the language search engines used to read and understand the content on a page. By language, I mean quotes that help search engines inter interpret the web page and show it in a better way. So how does it help in local SEO? No matter you are doing local, national, or e-commerce SEO, schema code really help you if you know how to use it. And that's what we'll be seeing in this video. But as we are focusing only on local SEO, on this channel, I'll be showcasing you, you know, how exactly you can create a local business schema and not just schema, how you can use that schema and create some sort of iframe that will further help you in increase your google maps ranking so uh, additionally I, i'll be also showcasing you you know how you can include all the entities into the schema and all those secret stuff so uh make sure to watch the video till the end and i'm pretty sure this is gonna be one of the best videos you would have ever watched on schema so now let's directly jump into the topic that is how to create a local business schema markup just to know that we are going to use a premium tool for this known as up schema you know and further doing our iframe and bits as well but if you just want to do some sort of basic schema and not really iframe you can use chat gpt and all those cheap tools as well uh, the reason i prefer up schema or overall the other tools is it's simple it's you know really simple in terms of ui and also the iframe mixer feature it has which no other tool has at least who i know so first of all you will need uh you, you know you will need a subscription to this particular tool so just one up schema.com and click on get get access now the tool cost nine and seven dollars uh, a year but you don't have to pay that much you, you can just use a coupon code that i will be you know putting in the description just use that tool and you'll get that for merely i guess 700 bucks so it's it's just you know 60 or 70 bucks a month that's pretty affordable isn't it and particularly things like schema which cost you know at least 200 300 bucks if you are gonna pay any uh you know tech guy to do it for you and maybe who knows if he's just uh doing it some kind of basic scheme or not so you know you can just buy this tool and you know you can use this for tons of pages and if you are an agency owner you can also use this for all of your clients now once you have got the subscription, just go to the da to the dashboard and click on up schema from tool section. Just go the here and this will load just a sec and you will be redirected to something like this. So you'll just need to click on add new and click on local business. I already have one schema made for you guys. So I'll just click on you know edit this and I will showcase you how you exactly you will need to do and what exactly you will need to do. So first of all, select local business type. So in this one, you will get tons of options. Just check what uh, you know category your business lies in. For instance, let's say you're a house painter, HVAC, general contractor, electrician or any other sort of that category business just select that and you will have additional type in case you are having any additional categories feel free to add that as well now for name and all those things just go to your gmb url and copy that as is just copy the name you know url and all those things and yeah just put you know the url of your website or any page that is associated with the gmb for instance just go here and just copy this and then phone number as well and all those necessary stuff okay once you are done with the basic stuff for instance name your telephone and you know categories and all those things here's the main section that is knows about in this one we are gonna put our entities so that you know it could be more relevant so for that i'm gonna use a tool it's absolutely free just go to entityexplorer.com and put your category here i've added hvac here so you know you will see tons of stuff here central heat pump cooling tower air conditioning maintenance furnace condenser unit icon cycle house tons of stuff right so what we'll need to do is for instance let's just take heat pump okay i'll just click on heat pump and you can further you know find entities related to this okay if you see tons of stuff but i just want to keep it pretty simple so just uh you know copy this thing for instance it's heat pump so just go, go on google and search for heat pump and wiki okay 
So what's, uh, what it's going to show you is all the Wikipedia and all those wiki sites, okay? So some kinds of all those informational sites, but we are going to use Wikipedia because that's the most authoritative one. So we'll just copy this thing and we'll be using this in the knows about section. Do this for each of these entities, okay? Once these are done, just use your services, okay? For instance, let's say you're an HVAC contractor, use furnace, you know, uh, AC repair, fireplace, and all those services that you provide, uh, you know, use all those things and just search uh, for, let's say, Furnace plus Wiki. And you will see, uh, you know, Wikipedia pages for all those. And then copy the link of each of them and just put them on in the Knows About section. So you got tons of entities added within the Knows About section. This is really, really powerful. And you're actually getting the benefit of all these things, you know, all the authoritative websites that you're going to use. Wikipedia, or, you know, if you're in medical niche, WebMD and all those things, right? This is super helpful. Now, social media URLs. So, the basic stuff that we all do is, you know, kind of add our, our, our Facebook, Instagram, you know, LinkedIn and all those things. You will need to do so. Other than that, what I want you to do is add all the citations. Let's say, just search for your brand. You know, for instance, let's search uh, ALP Heating. This is just an example. If you see Facebook, Homestar, all those directory websites which are uh, already ranking. So these, uh, you know, these directories are pretty authoritative. That's why they're ranking on, you know, page one, page two of Google for the brand term, right? So add all of those as well. So in social media sections, you got your social media URLs. Also, all the citations. This is super, super helpful. Okay, now, has offered catalog. This is something that very, very less people are doing, uh, uh, I think. So if you see, we have have an offer catalog here so what you can do an offer catalog is let's say you know put uh you will see one section here okay name so just you know put your uh, main service in the name and you can uh, uh you know do something uh, like city plus that service in this offer catalog section if that makes sense you know okay and do this for each of your service so in the upper section put your service and then in the lower one city plus service this is super helpful the next one is logo just uh take the logo url from your website and paste that here in the image there's two or three things that you can do first of all you can use any uh, of your website's image and also you can you know use image from google business profile it's totally upon you whichever you want to do it's not something that if you use gmb profile your website you sorry your gmb is gonna rank a lot that's not like that so you know you can choose any of that now the next one is description pretty basic you'll just need to you know copy the description from your gmb profile or you can also create one for this the next one is keywords okay let me show you how it looks here if you see we are also having a keyword section okay if you see here once you add this it's also gonna show in the schema right so it's super helpful okay an address all the basic stuff here latitude longitude super, you know again include a map put your maps link here latitude here longitude here and then you know business hours super uh, simple rating so just go on your gme profile check how many reviews you have got and what's your, your uh, you know rating so 4.8 and total reviews is 33 just put that here now contact type customer service put it you know put price range let's say you know if you're serving a very low ticket item just put inexpensive maybe you know moderately expensive and if you're some business like you know each bag and all those things expensive and if you're you know some kind of kitchen remodeling and all those things you can put very expensive as well so the next one is you know brand founder and all those things so you know uh once all others are done you can just copy this and put that in your uh, wordpress website or wordpress page uh, and you can also further use all these things for instance you can just uh you know go on tools up schema again and create a organizational schema okay and what will happen is it's just gonna you know let's say we do this once our organizational schema is done we can just you know select that and our organizational schema will also blend in with this local business schema this is super gold okay and this is really really helpful now the next the similar thing could be done with founder as well just go on you know tools of schema create a personal person schema and you know just select the founder here and that will blend in again that's super helpful isn't it so yeah this was uh, all about how you can create schema and let me show you how it will look once all the other stuff is done i'm just gonna copy and just add that in the code snippet run test and it will take 10 seconds so here it is you can see how extensive this schema is
You see that? It's really, really extensive and you know, it's super detailed. And do you think your basic schema could compete with this? There are no chances, right? No chance. So, uh, you know, this is how you can create a super detailed schema. And you know, as I said, it's just an example. You can further drill down and add tons of other stuff as well. But this was an example of how it could be done. The next tool is, you know, if you see iframe mixer. So what this tool is going to do is it, it's going to blend your schema that you just created into an, and it will provide you an iframe that you can, you know, just embed on any website, maybe, you know, cloud website, PBNs, you know, Google site and, and all those things. And I have results with them. Okay. I've seen results with them. They are really, really helpful. Does so, so, you know, when you go to iframe mixer, you can, you will just need to, you know, copy the schema and add the URL or iframe as well. You can just go to your, you know, uh, GMB as well and just click on share, embed a map, copy HTML and just put that iframe here. Okay, and click on mix. You can do this thing as well. And further, if you want to do, you know, some kind of more optimized one, you can just go on batchgeo.com and, you know, you can just put the addresses. Let's say you are in, uh, you know, LV. Okay, so what you can do is, you know, take an address in the north, south, east and west of your business. And, you know, four addresses you've got, just take a random one. So you've got four addresses and one of your exact website, you know, exact location of the business. Just for, take that five address and put that here. And, you know, you will just get that training in, in the iframe, uh, you know, in the up schema as well. But I will be coming up with another video on that. So, you know, again, uh, otherwise it's going to be a super in the video, right? So, but you can look how it it's going to look if we do it via Google Maps. So you'll be thinking, yes, this is just a usual Google Maps embed, right? Nope, man. If you see, we are having a lot of schema stuff here, okay? So it's not your usual, you know, uh, Maps embed. It's super detailed schema embed right so you know you are not just embedding your google maps you're embedding schema as well and you can just think when all these things are you know embedded on let's say a cloud website on pvn so and all you know even on press release just think how powerful it could be right you know that's the power of a uh, schema okay and that's why i'm uh, actually you know suggesting this tool to everyone yeah, so uh, this was all about this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, again, I'll be coming with another another video on uh, how you can use uh, iframe mixer. So, uh, you know, just comment below if you need that. And yeah, this was all. Uh, feel free to comment below if you have any questions. And yeah, bye-bye. I'll see you in the next one.